Durham Cathedral is an icon of the northeast of England. This ancient cathedral has stood on this spot for close to a thousand years. Another icon of the northeast is its industrial landscape. The northeast is renowned for its pit villages and its pioneering spirit when it came to shipbuilding and the age of steam and trains. These two legacies have been side by side happily for many years, and bit by bit the Industrial Revolution covered the cathedral in black soot. Indeed for many, Durham Cathedral was a black building. But not so for Joseph Borolaski. This self-proclaimed Count of Poland, infamous midget and very good friend of Marie Antoinette, moved to the city of Durham and fell in love with its people and the iconic cathedral at its heart. Joseph mourned the fact that the building was so dirty, and commissioned a team of masons to chisel away some stone from its entire surface. Durham Cathedral was clean again, but it was changed. This monument shares the same status as the pyramids, and yet it is one inch smaller in every way than it was originally. This raises a fascinating problem. Recently, Durham Cathedral has undergone a series of renovation and conservation exercises. This raises a fundamental question though, and that is, what are we preserving? The entire monument is different from how it was originally. In this way, the frailty of the human existence is exposed. We can only ever preserve what we remember, and we only ever remember what we have seen, and we only ever see what things that we see in a relatively short span of time that we call a lifetime. So Durham Cathedral in some ways highlights an issue about conservation. Often, we're not really conserving something. What we're actually doing is maintaining the form which we're most comfortable and familiar with. Something to think about.